Let's talk about neonatal reflexes in this video for postgraduates. Neonatal reflexes are certain involuntary reflexes that are seen in newborn babies, usually present at birth, originating in the brainstem and occurring in a predictable manner. These usually disappear as the cerebral cortex develops and matures and exerts an inhibitory control on them. Most of these reflexes begin in utero and persist into the first few months of the baby's postnatal life. They are usually replaced by voluntary skills. So if they persist, it could indicate a neurologic problem. When examining neonatal reflexes, one must always check to see if it is symmetric or not. Asymmetry could also indicate a neurologic or orthopedic condition. Let's first talk about the Moro reflex. The Moro reflex is a primitive neonatal reflex that actually acts as a protective response to the abrupt disruption of body balance. The Moro reflex is elicited by raising the head of a supine infant approximately 30 degrees from the cot and suddenly dropping it to the level surface while supporting it with the examiner's hand to avoid impact. You can see that there is abduction and extension of all four limbs with extension of spine and fanning of fingers and this is followed by adduction and flexion with hand closure. The stepping reflex is also called the walking or the dance reflex because the baby appears to take steps when held upright with his feet touching a solid surface. The rooting reflex starts when the corner of the baby's mouth is stroked or touched. The baby will turn his head and open his mouth to follow and root in the direction of the stroking. This helps him find the breast to begin feeding. The sucking reflex appears when the roof of the baby's mouth is touched. Babies can also have a hand to mouth reflex that goes along with rooting and sucking, so they may start sucking on their fingers or hands. Preterm babies can have a weak or immature sucking ability because this reflex is not fully developed until about 36 weeks. Touching a baby's palm can cause him to close his fingers in a grasp and similarly touching his sole can cause flexion of toes. When a baby's head is turned to one side, the arm and leg on that side get extended and the contralateral arm and leg show flexion. This is also called the fencing position. <laughs> 